Hello. Hey everyone, Blauke at Kofi here, and today we're going to be setting up Streamer Bot with Lumia Stream. So to begin, we're going to go to our browser and we're going to put in streamer.bot. We're going to download Streamer Bot. And while we're in the browser, we're also going to download Lumia Stream if you already don't have that. Go to lumiastream.com, get Lumia Stream free, and download Lumia Stream. This integration will work on both the free and premium versions, so no worries there. So after you download and install Lumia Stream, we're also going to open up Streamer Bot, but we have to unzip it. So we'll go to our download folder. I'm going to press I'm going to right click it and I'm going to press RenRAR and extract to streamer.bot. This will extract all the files to a folder. Now you have two options here. You can just leave it in the folder or you can move it to program files. For me, I actually move it to program files and then I make a shortcut to my desktop there. But for now, we're just going to leave it inside the folder that it's at. So open up the folder and you'll see streamer.bot and you'll see the type is application. We'll open this and now streamer.bot will be open and Lumia Stream, make sure Lumia Stream is open as well. So I'm using version 0.1.10 at the moment in StreamerBot's next version. They're also going to have a Lumia Stream integration. So you'll be able to set up Lumia Stream directly in StreamerBot. Um, but for now, I'm using the 6.2 alpha for Lumia Stream, which has a StreamerBot integration. So there's two ways you can set up Lumia Stream with StreamerBot. Uh, for, but we're going to go from Lumia Stream to StreamerBot today. So open up Lumia Stream. Make sure you have 6.2 installed. Go to Connections. Add new connection and put in streamer bot. So you'll see it right here. Press connect. And now it'll take you through the different steps of streamer bot. So step one, open up streamer bot, select the server slash clients tab, and then turn on the WebSocket server. So you'll be on the WebSocket server tab and press start server. So this will by default have 127001 port 8080 and endpoint slash. I'm going to press auto start for that as well. So whenever my computer starts, streamer bot starts and it starts up the WebSocket server. So press start server. And now step two says set up your WebSocket settings or leave the default. Make sure to turn on auto start. Step three is into your address port and endpoint below. So I actually use a uh, two computer setup. Uh, so I have streamer bot running on my PC while I, you know, develop and program on my MacBook. Uh, so I put in the IP address of my PC, but if you're using this on your regular PC, by default, it will just have 127.0.0.1N, which is local host. And then port is just 8080. So I'm going to change that to 8080. And then endpoint is just a slash. So I'm going to have a slash there and press connect. And if everything worked correctly, it will connect and it will be connected to streamer bot. If it didn't work correctly, it would, you know, error out. So I'm going to press refresh and make sure streamer bot shows up. So you'll see streamer bot is checked green. Perfect. Okay. So now comes the fun part. So now, you know, you'll set up your actions within streamer bot and then you can call those actions from Lumia stream or the other way around. Whenever an action triggers, you can have Lumia stream be triggered. So I'm just going to set up a quick action right here and just call this. Hello. And I'm going to set up a sub action. Let's say I just wanted to play a sound, play sound. So I have this Lumia stream jingle. I'm going to open it and I'm going to press OK. So I set that up within streamer bot. Now I want to trigger this action within Lumia stream. So I'll go to Lumia stream commands. I'll add a new command and I'll select the streamer bot tab. I'll select action. And now my actions didn't show up because my settings haven't been refreshed. So just press refresh streamer bot settings and now you'll see a hello action show up. So now I can test out this action or add the streamer bot. Let's test it out before we move on. So now the sound plays and we're good to go. So I'm at streamer bot there. I don't really want my lights to change for this command. So I'm just going to call this SB hello. I'm just like no light change. I also want this to skip the queue. I don't want this to be in Lumi streams queue. So I'm going to press apply refresh. And now if I try to trigger that, I can just do SB. Hello. And there we go. It's triggered. Now, before we move on, let's go back to edit this command. And I'm going to go to streamer bot and I'm going to press edit on that. Hello action. Let's say I also wanted to write to a file. I'm just going to choose a new file on my desktop. I'm just going to choose a text file SB and choose that press save. So now you see this on my desktop. I'm going to open it and have this showing right here. 
So you can have text, right? So let's just test this out. I can say, well, press OK. And now if I test this action out, it'll play the sound and then it'll write to the file. So wow is right there. Let's not have the sound. I don't want to finish playing before continuing. So I'm going to uncheck that. Let me turn this volume down. Okay. So now the interesting part is you could also have variables here. So let's say I wanted to say, let's say percent Lumia var. So now I'm going to press okay. And now I'm going to go back to Lumia stream inside these extra arguments. You can pass JSON. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to wrap a double quoted string around it. I'm going to say Lumia var. And I'm going to say, hi, this is Lumia. And of course, I got to wrap this in strings again. So this is a string. If you want to do another variable, I'll show you how to do that as well. But let's just test this action out. Let's test that action out. And if everything worked correctly, I'll open up that text file and it says, hi, this is Lumia. Now, the really cool part is that you can, you know, implement Lumia variables within streamer bot. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to open up our variables. Let's say I wanted to send over my Twitch avatar of my channel. So I'll select Twitch avatar and then that's actually not right. It didn't put it in the correct place. So I'm going to cut that and move it up and just make sure you always wrap that in a double quoted string so you don't have any issues. Even if it's a variable, you still have to use those double quotes. And now when I test the action out, you'll see the Twitch avatar showed up inside of this folder. That's how to pass Lumia variables to streamer bot. Uh, we will make this process a little easier if you're not familiar with JSON, um, but you can also add more variables here. So I could just put a comma and I could put another key. So let's call this uh, second. Let's just call it second and let's say this is my second key. Or you could put another variable there and you can also use that second key within streamer bot. So I can say percent second key. So let me change that second key. Open this back up. And now you see first and then you'll see this is my second key. Perfect. So that's how to trigger actions from Lumia stream to streamer bot. Now let's trigger Lumia stream on an action. So go back to Lumia stream. We're going to go to alerts and we're going to go to streamer bot. And now here you have one action you can do by default. It's going to say only variations because we don't want this trigger for every you know action that's triggered. You could if you want to, um, but for us, we're not going to do that at the moment. So instead, I'm going to add a variation. This works on both free and premium versions, as I mentioned earlier. So add a variation and let's say. Let's scroll down, change the condition, let's say equal to value. And let's say whenever the, or the hello action is triggered, hello, make sure you, you know, name this correctly. If you need to just press edit and copy and then paste it directly. Let's say anytime hello is triggered, we want to trigger, you know, a red color or let's say a reaction. Let's trigger police. So press refresh there. And now let's set up a voice control. Let's call this hello. Let's say hello and select my action as hello. So now if I say hello, then the lights would trigger my action would trigger on streamer bot. And there we go. You have the perfect harmony, the perfect harmony of Lumia stream plus streamer bot. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you will be able to trigger commands and alerts directly within streamer bot in their next update. Um, and they'll have, you know, a separate tutorial for that. When someone makes a tutorial for that, we'll link to it down in the description down below. Now you can get very fancy as I've shown you, you know, that was a reaction trigger and you can set up your own reaction to set it up however you want. You can create an animation, a theme to trigger your different effects. Like on WLED, there's thousands of different effects you can choose from. And, you know, you can play around with the different settings that Lumi Stream has. And you could tie those to different alerts with, you know, from streamer bot. So, Let's say I wanted that was just my hello string, but I can, you know, set up another one for another voice command or something like that. And then you set up your stream however you want from there. So I'm going to change this string to something else. I'm going to just say day. And I'm going to set it up anywhere. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we hope you all have a luminous day. 
perfect. 